Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great ultra rare Class B camper van from Parkway RV Center. Today we're going to look at a 1996 Road Trek 190 Popular. Really nice, clean little camper van. Got a generator, runs perfectly. Got ice cold dash air, only 86,000 miles. And this thing's bargain price for one of these little motor homes at only $17,900. Tires look great. These are one of the most fuel efficient motor homes that you can buy. Built on a Dodge chassis. Got the Magnum V8. 15 miles per gallon is what you're going to average with one of these and maybe even better than that. Easy to drive, easy to park. You know, these are one of the hardest type motor homes to buy, folks. This is the rarest. Uh, a Class B, you're going to look at 100 Class A's and Class C's for every one of these Class B's that you find. And to find one like this for under $20,000 with low miles and a generator and everything functioning on it, this is something that's going to sell quickly. You can see the exterior for this age motor homes in great shape. All fiberglass roofs, so very, very little, very, very little maintenance. 20 feet long. This is smaller lengthwise than your average F-150 pickup truck. 2.8 generator running right now. It's got a 5,000 pound trailer hitch on the back. Of course, Road Trek, one of the most well known and popular brands of these little motorhomes. Folks, these things brand new are almost as much as a 30, 31 foot Class A. I mean, the engineering that goes into one of these to have all the stuff that it has in this small of a package to me is pretty amazing. It's got a water heater, it's got a bathroom, it's got a shower, sleeps three people, all of that in a 20 foot camper van. These can park in a regular parking spot. It's pretty much the ultimate couple's motor home because this is something that anybody with a driver's license can drive. If you can drive an SUV or you can drive a pickup truck, you can drive and park this, this van with ease. And these are extremely rare and like I've said in my last two or three videos I've done, I am sitting on the best selection of Class B camper vans under $30,000 and I honestly can say this because I believe it's true in the country right now. I have about seven of these vans all under $30,000 and this is one of the ones I have under $20,000 and nobody's got these folks. You can go to a lot that has 800 RVs on their lot and they might have one maybe two of these vans. Folks I got seven of these. If you're in the market for one of these vans, you've reached the best selection in the country. Now, I don't have any of them over $30,000. So, you know, if you're wanting to spend fifty dollars or $60,000 on a used one, you probably going to have to go to one of these big corporate dealerships. But as far as, and of course, who wants to spend a hundred grand on a new one? But, but this is seventeen nine. It's a 96. It's clean. Let's take a look inside. I'm going to tell you folks, I had cranked this van up, cranked the generator, turned the air, the dash and the roof air on, and went inside and had a late lunch, came back out here, and I swear to you folks, I feel like I'm going into a restaurant and walking into the walk-in refrigerator. This thing right here, I have never been in an RV this cold before. It's literally 60 degrees in here. And it's almost 90 outside. In fact, I'll, I'll even show you real quick. Let me find my thermometer. Holy, <laughs> holy smokes, it's cold. It's, yeah. Of course, I know it's really hard to tell without having a surface, but look at that. 65 degrees. <laughs> and I've had it on maybe 30 minutes. I guarantee you, I'll leave this thing cooped up for another hour. It'll have just about have frost hanging off of it. Whew. Anyway, if you like to cool one off, well, this tank can definitely do it. Um, Magnum V8. It's got 86,000 miles on it. The dash here is absolutely ice cold. No check engine lights. The seats look good. They swivel around for party seating. 
the passenger seat and this third captain's chair make one single bed and then in the back your table booth folds down and makes a queen size bed but you can see the motor no engine lights it's sitting there blowing a uh, yeah <laughs> I don't think you got to worry about that dash air not cooling you in here and that's what's neat about these Class B camper vans versus other types of motorhomes. Other types of motorhomes, that dash air is not worth a flip. I and mean, that's why most of them don't work because it's like trying to stick a single ice cube in a 400 degree oven and expect that single ice cube, cube to cool that oven off. But because of the small size of these vans, that dash air will keep this van comfortable 99% of the time. So you don't have to run your generator while you're going down the road. Now, it, and I'm not saying if, if it's a hundred something degrees outside that you've got people riding in the back Chances are you're going to run your generator and your roof air, but 90% of the time or better you, you, you're fine with just the dash air and the dash heat to keep it comfortable Got the three skylights up top got the curtains across it got the little fold-out table right here and what you can do Is this table will fold out you can Swivel your front chairs around and have eating service for three people. I don't think they've ever cooked in this kitchen. Uh, stove top, stainless steel stove top. Sink. I don't think this thing's been used much, folks. And, and I know that's unusual for a 21-year-old motorhome, but look at that microwave. Refrigerator's already... Should already be getting cold, actually. I know these little refrigerators take a little bit, but... Let's see if the freezer, because these little ones, you always want to check the freezer first, and that's true with about any of them, but you can see 26 degrees, and still in the 60s in the fridge, but the way these little gas absorption refrigerators work, they get cold in the freezer first, and it just kind of trickles down into the refrigerator, so that obviously works and we're going to check this unit out too folks we're not like a lot of rv dealers on 96 model motor homes and just give you the keys tell you take the good with the bad we're actually going to take this thing into the shop after purchase and uh, we're going to go through this thing we're going to make sure all the major systems work and that's included for the 17.9 price it includes uh, checking the generator which is obviously running right now Checking the roof air, which I'll show you in a minute that's cold. We check the running, the driving. We check the appliances. We check the refrigerator on gas and electric. We run that for about 24 hours. Check the microwave. We check your stove top. We check your water heater. We check your, um, we check all your, your sinks, your faucet, your toilet, your shower. Uh, we check all your cabinets, all your drawers, all your lights, all your plug-in receptacles. We'll make sure all that works. We'll make sure... Your main bed folds out like it should. We make sure this little single bed folds out like it should. Uh, you know, we check these things out as thoroughly as we can. We check your propane tank. We check your propane system. Make sure there's no leaks. Make sure your furnace works. And yes, it's got a DSI furnace right there, that brown thing in the floor. Um, so we check these things out very, very thoroughly. And all that's included for the 17.9 price. And what you want to do, folks, before you bid on this thing on eBay, uh, what you want to do is call our non-commissioned sales department and uh, ask them to send you a copy of what we check out for the price you pay and what we repair if needed. You know, everything on that list, if something's not working, we're going to replace it or repair it, no matter what the cost. And folks, I put jacks on stuff, I put generators in some, I've had to put air conditioners, refrigerators. I mean, we spend well over $120,000 a year in parts alone just to make sure everything passes that inspection that we do and we do all of that without charging an extra dime to you uh, for that for that inspection so you get a copy of that inspection also you want to find out the current lead time because as I said in my other videos to keep our overhead down which keeps our costs down which in turn keeps our prices down so everybody wins we don't check these units out until we sell them. So you want to call ahead, get the current lead time for a Class B motorhome checkout. And um, before you bid on eBay or any of the other 20 plus different websites that I use. And I will tell you folks, and th this is my personal observation. This is, for a 21 year old vehicle, this is about as nice as you could ever expect one to be. And actually nicer than you could expect a 21 year old vehicle to be. All right, got some uh, 
Got, and we'll even include this high quality cutlery uh, set that goes with it. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> So you can see we just got it in. We haven't even cleaned it yet. Uh, this is the, these twin opposing sofas make a queen size bed. That table's removable, and that air, and that's a newer air conditioner too, is absolutely blowing icicles. Forty something degrees. Yeah, um, <laughs> folks, I'm telling you. If you're like me, because I'm a big guy, I'm 6'4", 280 pounds, so I, I'm really hot natured. I, I, if I don't have my, if I don't have it down to about 65, 70 degrees at home, I can't go to sleep. And um, to me, that this, this this is nice, especially as hot as it is, to have this cool area right here. I mean, this thing is absolutely frigid. I mean, if you could, in other words, you could leave this generator and those air conditioners on for another hour or two. You don't even need a fridge. You can just set your milk and, and, and groceries out on the counter. It'll probably keep it just fine. It's that cold in here. But anyway, I mean, I'm not recommending you do that, but theoretically, you probably could. Uh, here's your bathroom, and it's got the toilet. It's got the shower. The way this shower works, and now I'm, it's hard to really show you this one-handed. This door has got a built-in petition that goes up against the side of the, of the kitchen. This carpet's removable. Underneath the carpet is a shower pan with a drain. And is it the most comfortable way to take a shower? No. It's one of those showers you use if you have to. You know, if there's a bathhouse around at a campground, of course, that's always your best bet. But it's one of those things, hey, if you've been on the road for a couple of days, you're traveling, you want to take a hot shower, there you go. Now, like I said, I'm a big guy, so this is not a big man's camper. By no means, I can certainly move around in this motor home. And now, would I want to spend six months in it, being 280 pounds and six foot forward? No. But, you know, for somebody wanting something to travel in, something for weekend trips, for day trips, or something, you know, to, to maybe stay in one or two nights and stay in a hotel room for a night. This is ideal for that. You know, so many people are buying these vans now that never spend the night in them. Reason being is because they're such great traveling vans. I mean, a lot more comfortable, a lot more amenities than a, than a conversion van. You know, if you got a family, you can three up here, you can put three in the back. You can have generator running, you can have TVs, TVs on, movies playing. Somebody's got to use the bathroom. No problem. There you go. You don't have to stop and, and find a rest area or a gas station every every 50 or 75 miles because somebody has to use a bathroom. Somebody gets hungry, fix you a sandwich, make you a snack, make you a pot of coffee. Uh, you can do everything on the road that you can do at a campground with that generator. And, um, you know, it's great for your kids are into softball. You know, they have these tournaments. You're stuck at the ball fields all day. Drive the van over there. Leave the generator running. Come in here. Cool off. Have something cold to drink. Fix you a snack. Have a bathroom. You don't have to waste all that money at the concession stand. Have a neat place for everybody to go. Get cooled off. Because, you know, it's hot summertime in the ball fields. Want to do tailgating? Here's the perfect rig for that. You want to go shopping and, and one of you doesn't like shopping? The other one does? Well... Leave them in the van, let them watch TV or her watch TV while the other one shops. I mean, there's so many different uses for these vans. You like to travel. Like I said, you got an auctioning machine. You know, you don't want to be dependent on your portable bottles when you're in the, on the road. Run the generator, plug your machine in, and you don't have to worry about using all your portable tanks up. I mean, it's just very, very versatile. A lot of these people that travel in these vans stay in hotels. They never even spend the night in here. You got a couple, you like something to travel, go to Amish country or go to casinos or anything like that. Great traveling van for that. And you can stay in hotel rooms. I mean, you don't have to spend the night in these vans. They get good enough fuel mileage and they're easy enough to drive that you can justify having this for a vehicle as well as a motorhome. I've, I've known a couple of different people that use these for everyday drivers. I mean, there's just, you know, so many more uses for a van than just camping. 
and of course they're great to spend the night in for a little weekend trips or day trips uh, if you want to go up you know state park for the day or have a picnic lunch look at this you imagine what kind of ultimate picnic lunch you can have with this thing put out the grill and, and, and do you know fishing or haul your boat behind it your fishing boat I mean it's just so many things you can do with it folks family reunions um, sky's the limit anyway this motor home with the inspection and that inspection after inspect it's going to include a walkthrough by one of my RV techs the one that checked it out you're going to get a complete walkthrough they're going to show you how to operate everything how to use everything show you that everything works on it before you take it home that's included for the 17.9 so this way when you take it off the lot you know how to operate everything and you know how to take it to the campground hook it up and they're going to spend time with you show you all that stuff you're going to get a free starter kit with all your uh, camping essentials you're going to get instructional dvds you're going to get a 45 day temporary tag all of that for only 17.9 haggle free but that's also out the door. It's not like these other dealers. When you get up there, you see a motorhome advertised for a certain price, but when you get up there, they're wanting to add several thousand dollars in fees, like dock fees, prep fees, freight fees, corporate fees, acquisition fees, tag fees, title fees, processing fees, get ready fees. They come up with different names for them every year, but they're all ripoff fees. It's just an excuse, and they're all 100% dealer profit. It's just a scam to get you to pay more for the RV by disguising the profit as extra fees. You know, we've been here 49 years. We sell almost 600 units a year. We don't play around here, folks. These things sell. We sell RVs not just a few a week. We sell a few a day. At one to four RVs, we collect. One, we sell one to four RVs every single day we're open for business. We sell almost 600 a year. We sell uh, all over the country. We've shipped them all over the country. We've sold over 2,000 RVs to uh, customers from Canada because up there, this motor home's $25,000 to $30,000. Same thing on the West Coast. This thing's an extra eight, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 on the West Coast. Up north, you know, you go up north and buy one like this, it's a rust bucket. This is a southeastern motor home. Most of what we carry is southeastern motor homes. That's why people come to the southeast to buy motor homes especially from up north because you don't want the rust issues. You go up there and you look at a 20-year-old motorhome up north, heck, it's falling apart with rust. Not down here, though. That's why people come down here from all over the country to buy. And plus, our cost of living down here is so much less than anywhere else in the country. That's why our prices are less, too. So we can definitely save you a lot of money. I've sold to buyers from all 50 states, including multiple sales to Alaska and multiple sales to buyers from Hawaii. Uh, West Coast, I'm telling you something, uh, very rarely does a week go by that I don't sell at least one to somebody on the West Coast. Because again, the price differences between here and there is astronomical. Got a little, got a little hanging closet right there too. So give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com or .net. I've got a great selection of these used Class B camper vans, and folks, I'm going to tell you, we're bringing more in, too. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, because if you're in the market for one of these little vans, you're wanting to stay under $30,000, I've got the best selection in the country right now in one place. Now, that selection is as of today. These vans, can I've sold these vans as quick as two hours after the video posting online, so... Just because it's here today does not guarantee that it's going to be here tomorrow. Um, so make sure you call if you see one you like. Make sure you're prepared to leave a deposit on it because it will not be here long. And you can see that track. That's where your shower curtain goes. 706-965-7929. Uh, evenings and Sundays. 423-605-6747. Our website again, parkwayrvcenter.com. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, of course, YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos about every day. I'm, I'm going to be posting some more of these vans in the next day or two. So you're going to see plenty of these Class B camper vans. So if you're in the market for one, you've definitely lucked out and found the right place to get it and found the right place that's going to save you a lot of money. 49 years in business, family-owned and operated, one of the oldest, largest, and most successful independently owned family operated used RV dealerships 
currently in business today in the entire USA since 1968. Folks, we've been doing this a long time. Let our experience to work for you. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.